Babylon 13. It is in a future Babkilon, but 13, not 15. Othnor's note. <laughs> Athner's note. This story is a reimagining of Babylon 5. It takes place in a frather futur, so it does okay to not supposed to be canon. If you think I'm joking at all about what I just read, you can friggin' think again. <clears throat> Chapter 1. And forgive me if I'm mispronouncing any of these between the misspellings and the fact that I've never watched Babylon 5. <clears throat> Jekri looked work. He was the prince of that planet Babylon, and he had to work. Commander Gorge Hakaller ran into the space deck and was out of breathing, and then said in a loudly shout, Where has you b and I swear it's just B E apostrophe D bed. Jekri looked up at him and said, uh, you have run into here with a hurry. Gorge said, I have, yes, I have come to you with a plan. It is from the galactic planets. Jekri looked up at him and said, okay, but what is the plan? Gorge said, I don't know. It is a secret, but you must tell, you must help me. It is for the good of the galactic planets. Just then a TV said that the galactic planets in danger were so much. Jekri talked to him talked to him back. We have to hurry then because I do not want to see an entire planet to be put it in Ham's way. <laughs> they arrived at the bullet chute would shoot them into space like a bullet. It was new technology that the Babylon neurons <laughs> based on the works of Jules Verne, but with railgun instead. We should get into the bullet! <laughs> they arrived. When they arrived, they went into the cargo bay of the planets and they arrived. There were so many boxes. Before they went into the exit to the main planets, Jekri looked at the box. We should check this box to see if it is anything suspicious, Jekri said, and he pointed at the box that he was looking at. Gorge said, okay, I will open it, and he opened at it, and inside was a terrorist. Oh no, it is something bad, Jeffrey said. We need to run! The terrorist shooted a laser device, and it was shooting lasers all over the ship. They hurried to run away while the terrorist was shooting lasers all over the cargo bay. When they escaped, Gorge sighed a relieving breath. <laughs> But the terrorist found them, and it was a terrorist alien that was green with a lot of scales. We don't put you, put mean you in him, the terrorist said, but I am a political activist, and I have to make the governments of the planets understand. Violence does not solve. Okay. <laughs> Chapter 2. That night they arrived at the blue planet of the plan and gorge said to put it in the motion. This is chemical power that will kill all of the evil Devalorkians. <laughs> what? Is that like a Klingon? They are evil alien race, Jekri revealed to agree, but we cannot wrong. What is you grating about? Jeffrey looked up at him and said, It is not the way to genocide because Devalorkian have good people too and babies. <sighs> so does Isis. Jeffrey looked up at him and said, I cannot allow you to become the same evil as what are they? And they fight in a fist fights. And Gorge won by won by knocking Jeffrey brain into the wall with him powerful fist punch. Oh no, my friend! And Gorge realized it was bad memory and that Jeffrey was right to not kill the peoples and decided not to do the plan. But the galactics of planets told Gorge he failed the mission, but he was thought it okay because the universe would be <coughs> would be safe or maybe. Gorge died of heart attack while in prison, but the peace goes on. Chapter 3 An Ewok pee eats a piece of broccoli. <laughs> this is pretty good. <laughs> okay. okay, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my god. An Ewok pee eats a piece of broccoli. This is pretty good. What a twist! What the hell? 
if you wonder why I, I why I'm reading it like this, you wonder why I keep changing my voice, you wonder why I'm laughing my ass off, you think I'm stupid, you try reading Peter Chimera's fanfic with a straight face. It will not last very long. Oh my god. I'm on fanfiction.net. This guy's got 12 stories up here. Uh, uh, he wrote, Devil May Cry, The Crying of the Demon. Dante, fight a powerful demon. Oh god. This, this is gonna suck. I like Devil May Cry. Alright. <clears throat> Read the title again. Devil May Cry, The Crying of the Demon. Dante... Water read into in his castle of darkness, but he was not sad. Was angry one a man was <laughs> was that a demon came to conquer him? But it would not be so. I have come to deliver a message from a demon. Said did a beard man with angry sword. He ripped Dante Casla, but Dante ducked under the sword and returned the fatal blow. Who the demon? Dante sets down his fists. I am only bring message, and the man died with blood attack. Dante was explored for clues in Old Mansion. Time to rock and roll, he thought it had brightened him. Relax your... what? Relax your real said a demon woman. Her name said was Carvin, but... And she... Explosion to fire at him, Dante took his pistols and cracked a awesome lightning. And she came to exploding! Dante swooped down with sword, but sword broke. Knack one from my father's sword, I murder you! But she was already murdered because she was dead ghost spirit demon working for, for the great Dama Daemon Master Powerloth. Good work, you all freed Kravne, but now fights you against me. And it was Simon Bellot from Castlevania! <laughs> 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 and it was Simon Belmont from Castlevania. Who was turns more evil by Darkula. <laughs> Much power, so Dante did not have his sword and had to use his gun attack. Fire bullet, Dante shoot at Simon and blood his face off. No! Simon was not free, though, because he was under evil power R2 Nog. Dante felt bad about it, but Taff was his duty. <laughs> he would make new sword out of a metal and would win triumph over another evil again. He end. What?